Hey, hey there, my Tyler Perry sisters fans. It's your girl, Barbie J here. And I'm out of town right now, but I'm still doing my reviews from my girlfriend's house. But I wanted to ask y'all a question about that last scene of the episode. When Gary comes up to Hayden's house with that envelope and Hayden opens it and sees that information... I'm just, you know, and he's like, are you for real? I'm going to kill her or like I'm going to go after her, make her life a living hell or something. So I don't know if he was talking about Tamara, he was going to make it a living hell, or was he talking about Fatima? And the thing is, I can't see that he's talking about Fatima because him and Fatima have been going back and forth for a long time. And Fatima had her boys whoop that ass of Hayden's. So I'm not sure who's he talking about. But we see that when he asks Tamara, she says she don't know him. She don't know him. But y'all put it down in the comment section. How in the world would Gary, even with a private investigator, he never told Hayden he had a private investigator on this wife of his. He told me he had her checked out two different times and that all was good. That's what he told him. All was good and he gave him an envelope that said it wasn't nothing serious about this girl. Now, Atlanta is a small place, is it not? And they always have it on these episodes how they, it's such a small place. They always running into somebody who knows somebody. So how does he know who Fatima's cousins are? There is no way I'm going to give it a private detective. If they know anything about Madam, they wouldn't be digging into her business and trying to connect who the members of her family are. Who would do that? That's why I'm like, something ain't right with that. And even if she is related to her and Tamara works for her, where does that connection say he was set up? How does that become a connection of being set up? Fatima just stood there and met her. You just introduced her to Fatima and Zach. So how is it a setup? And then for him to question Tamara, Tamara saying she don't know her. And then he walks up into the job like he's so tough with Zach standing there after Zach whooped that behind too. Because Hayden got beat twice. He got beat in the car and he got beat in the office. Okay. Now you going to come to Fatima with attitude. Do you not know who Madam is? Obviously he doesn't. And if Gary was smart, he he probably does know who Madam is and just want to hurt Hayden. He probably just wants to hurt Hayden, and that's why Gary did that. This is really terrible, and Gary's a little punk. He's a little punk. He's the case of Misery Loves Company. I really wanted Hayden and Tamara to work so Hayden could leave Fatima alone. But no, here comes Gary, because his spot got blown up. Now he's trying to hurt everybody else. He don't want nobody else to be happy. So y'all let me know down in the comment section what y'all think about this and how y'all feel about what um, Hayden, uh, Gary has done. And let me know what y'all think might happen to Hayden, because I think Hayden's going to get himself hurt. He's going to lose it. And he's going to get beat up and beat down or something's going to happen to him. And I'm afraid for him right now because he really cared about this woman. And I think Tamara was really feeling him. I really do. So, yeah. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel, please take a moment right now. Hit that subscribe button. Then hit the um, like button, thumbs up button, write a comment and share. I really want to hear your two cents about everything. So put it down in the comment section. It's your girl, Barbie J, saying peace.